Hello everyone, I'm Shinzo Machida and today I'm gonna talk about how to get a precision when you apply the front kick, Maigiri. As you know, the smaller area you use, the sharper it is. Or I can ask you, how can I get the better result using less strength? Today, we're gonna see how to use the ball of the foot, the right part of the foot to apply the front kick. Let's check it out. So, how to apply, use the ball the foot. First, I'd like to show you, you can hold, and you can practice your leg like that. How to kick, you're gonna lift your leg, and the foot should be parallel with the floor. And when you extend your leg, you should keep the foot parallel, like a ballerina foot. Look at my foot, parallel. And you lift your toes up. But during the extension, you're not gonna put the ballerina foot. You just already put your toes up and you extend your leg. So the toes gonna be up, and you're gonna correct, you're gonna connect using the right part of the foot, okay? So one of the very common mistake when you people kick, especially the beginner, they keep the foot perpendicular, it's like that. And they're gonna use the whole foot, the whole sole of the foot. This is wrong, maybe it's not wrong, but you can kick better using only the bones of the ball of the foot. That's gonna get more precision. When you use the whole area, for sure your opponent's gonna feel that, but this is gonna become more pushing, more pushing. It's different than kick and snap. When you kick and snap, I recommend you use only that ball of the foot, okay? To get more precision and to make your opponent realize that you really go deep and you really go sharp. How to practice that? First, I'd like to share to you, you can do on your knees, put your toes up, connect the ball of the foot, and you're gonna move up and down about 20, 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll show you now the back position. Look at my foot. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can try between 20, 30 times to make your toes go up. After you can go to the wall or the punching bag, you can push. I'm gonna use the Bobby Dunn here to explain. Push, and you're gonna kick the low part. Two, three, a little bit high. Four, five, six. Always lift your toes. And after that, also you can kick to the floor. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, the few times. And so, now I can kick to the back or the wall to connect the right part of the foot. One, two, three, you see? I'm gonna use that part. And that's gonna help you to not hurt your toes because you practice that in the right way, okay? So I'm gonna repeat a little bit more. H, H, Sun, G, H. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please put your comment below. What did you think about this detail of the front kick? And also check our website, Machida Virtual Dojo, your karate online training. See you next time. Peace.